Hey everybody, it's Paul from iBroke here. Today's patient is Samsung Tab 3 10.1. Um, it doesn't power on, it doesn't charge. It's a very common uh, occurrence with this particular tablet. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, the fix is somewhat easy. Now through the miracle of modern technology, you're not going to see me open it up. Boom, look at that. Case is off. Um, there's plenty of videos out there that tell you how to remove the case. So, what we have here is... What causes this problem is when the battery drains, depletes so low that the voltage in the battery is less than what's stored in the capacitors in the motherboard, you get this issue. And it's identifiable by when you press, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to, anyhow, I'm going to just tell you about it. You press the power button and you press the volume up button to hold them together. It comes across the screen here in red writing. It says voltage is too low, must be at least 3.7 volts. So when that happens, you know you've got this issue. So the fix is we turn around, we take our tweezers, and we lift off the battery just very, oh, there we go. Lift off the battery like that. Now with the battery off, you want to hold down your power button. Now, because I've taken off the entire... Because I've taken off the entire backing, the power button here, we have to, just with a fingernail, get on top of that little black dot and push it. So, basically, what you want to do is hold this for a few moments. With the battery disconnected, it drains all the power out of the motherboard. Now, I'm recording this on my iPhone so I can't stop and restart. So you guys are stuck with me through. So, usually about two minutes does it. I wish I had some little antidote or story or something to tell you, but I don't right now. I'm all funnied out for today. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So I want to just push the connector right back in like that. Uh, get my trusty charge cable. Like so. charge cable in and I'm going to try and power it up. Okay, it's still not. This particular device I've already established this is the problem and I've already done it once. I'm just trying to recreate it for 
everybody out there in YouTube land. And I do believe that the battery is the culprit in this one. It's not holding a charge. But we should be able to at least get some life out of it again. See if we can get that red warning. Oh. Custom OS can cause critical problems. If you want to download a custom OS, uh, cancel restart phone. Okay. <laughs> They're thinking that we're trying to tamper with it to install a custom OS. That's funny. I'm trying to volume down. <laughs> trying to do this so that everyone can see what I'm doing. Uh, push the little dot there, volume down. Uh, downloading. Installing. But as you see, we've now got power to the device. As you can see, we've now got power to the device. So, I guess it wants to refresh itself. And you know what? I'm going to let it refresh itself because. There was something the matter, it wasn't taking a charge. I was thinking that the battery was, uh, but maybe after a refresh, we'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, that's it anyhow. I just wanted a quick video to show how depleting the power in the motherboard can bring a Samsung bricked device back to life. <laughs> Thanks, Neil.